Your neck won't snap immediately. <laughs> The movie opens with an intense sequence where a notorious Nazi soldier, Heinrich, is pursued by his fellow soldiers for betraying them. Led by the ruthless von Starnfeld, the operation to capture Heinrich succeeds, leading to his trial. Accused of deserting during the overwhelming times of World War II, Heinrich defends his actions, condemning war in Germany as a nation of killers. Unyielding, he is sentenced to hanging by von Starnfeld's assistant, Durfler. In his final moments, Heinrich glimpses his wife and daughter, only to be unexpectedly saved by a farmer named Elsa. As von Starnfeld advances into German territory, Heinrich awakens and is nursed back to health by Elsa and her brother, Paul. Meanwhile, von Starnfeld interrogates a mayor named Robert about the Lowenstein family's house, now in ruins after expulsion. Despite the villagers taking everything years ago, von Starnfeld remains determined to search for valuable items amidst the destruction. Conversely, Robert appeared somewhat suspicious, suggesting he and his mistress, Sonia, were privy to information about the ruined house. Meanwhile, Heinrich shared a meal with Elsa and Paul, inquiring about Elsa's motivation for helping him. Without hesitation, Elsa revealed her disdain for the Nazis who had killed her father. That night, von Starnfeld and his squad halted at Robert's Inn for a break. Von Starnfeld's authority overshadowed Roberts, allowing him to dictate terms, including restricting civilian access to the inn, transforming it into a temporary base. At dawn, Von Starnfeld commanded local residents to dismantle the Lowenstein family's house, as he sought gold nuggets belonging to the family. Abruptly, Durfler informed Von Starnfeld that French and American troops were on the verge of entering Germany. Despite the soldiers' exhaustion and the risk of encountering the enemy while searching for gold, von Starnfeld remained indifferent, insisting on the pursuit of riches. Ignoring the potential dangers, he instructed Dorfler to gather supplies, including goods and food. Simultaneously, Heinrich, just waking up, bid farewell to Elsa, expressing gratitude for her kindness. However, before he departed, Elsa sought his assistance. Regrettably, Heinrich couldn't help Elsa as he needed to urgently search for his daughter. He shared the tragic tale of his family, recounting how his wife and daughter fell victim to a bomb explosion, though fortunately, his daughter survived. Having heard Heinrich's explanation, Elsa opted to allow him to leave. However, just before his departure, Nazi soldiers, revealed to be Dorfler and his squadron, approached them. Their mission was to search the town for livestock, and Dorfler promptly ordered his men to seize Elsa's chickens. Unwilling to accept the intrusion on her farm, Elsa confronted them, brandishing a rifle and issuing a stern warning not to take all her chickens, as she needed them. Impressed by Elsa's bravery, Dorfler decided to enter her house. Elsa asserted that she lived only with her brother, Paul, but Dorfler suspected she was hiding something. Unbeknownst to Dorfler, Heinrich had concealed himself in the attic. Elsa emphasized that she lived solely with Paul while her fiancé was away. In a sudden move, Dorfler seized her pendant, sparking anger from Elsa, who vehemently attempted to retrieve it. Witnessing Elsa about to be assaulted from the attic, Heinrich, unable to tolerate it, swiftly launched a brutal attack on the soldiers. Unfortunately, Dorfler managed to escape, but Heinrich succeeded in eliminating all the soldiers within minutes. This incident prompted Heinrich to evacuate Elsa and Paul from the location, anticipating that Dorfler would soon report them to von Starnfeld. Before departing, they gathered weapons and equipment. While navigating the forest, Paul expressed a desire to return home to tend to his cow but Elsa cautioned that going back would likely result in their deaths. Meanwhile, Dorfler, recovering at the inn, reported the events at Elsa's house, harboring vengeance and a determination to eliminate them, including Heinrich. Simultaneously, they rested by a campfire. The trio opted to seek refuge in a cave near the cliff. Before resting, Heinrich confided in Elsa that he had only seen his daughter once, right after her birth. He feared she wouldn't recognize him, but Elsa reassured him. Come morning, Elsa discovered Paul was missing. Frantically, they searched for him and, as anticipated, Paul had returned home to tend to the cows. Unfortunately, he was captured by Durfler and his troops, subjected to torture to reveal Elsa and Heinrich's whereabouts. Subsequently, Durfler shot Paul's cherished cow, set fire to his house along with the bodies of the slain Nazi troops, and abducted him. From a distance, Elsa witnessed her brother's abduction by Durfler and let out a hysterical scream. Meanwhile, von Starnfeld remained unsuccessful in locating the gold belonging to the Jewish family. He contacted Robert, inquiring about the gold, but Robert feigned ignorance. 
perceiving the town's residents as disobedient, von Starnfeld resolved to publicly hang Paul to instill fear. On the contrary, Heinrich and Elsa arrived in the town and observed a gathering. A priest intervened, preventing von Starnfeld from executing Paul. Undeterred, von Starnfeld instructed Dorfler to beat Paul. Recognizing Elsa's desire to join the crowd, Heinrich intervened to stop her. Seeking assistance, they approached a town resident named Ermgard. As Paul was taken to the top of the church bell tower for execution, the soldiers taunted him, calling him a moron. Irritated, Paul retaliated and attacked the soldiers before the execution could take place. One of them was pushed off the tower, while the other was shot dead by Paul. In the midst of the chaos, Heinrich and Elsa discreetly entered the church. Meanwhile, Paul, losing control, began shooting at other Nazi troops. Unfortunately, Paul met his demise with a headshot from von Starnfeld. Seeing her bloodied brother, Elsa couldn't contain her tears, but she had no time to grieve as von Starnfeld would undoubtedly pursue her. Outside the church, von Starnfeld threatened Robert and the residents, promising to shoot each of them unless they revealed the location of the gold. Unexpectedly, Elsa attacked von Starnfeld, miraculously avoiding any shots, and instead of retaliating, von Starnfeld inexplicably fell in love with her. As von Starnfeld was captivated by Elsa, Durfler and the others decided to pursue Heinrich. Fortunately, Heinrich had grenades in his bag, leading to a shootout on the church roof. Depleted of ammunition, Heinrich had to devise a strategy to overcome Durfler and his comrades. Guiding the Nazis to a corner, he hurled a grenade and leapt away. However, his escape was thwarted by soldiers below. Forced to deal with them swiftly, Heinrich confronted Durfler, a formidable opponent. Just as Heinrich was on the verge of defeating him, the town faced an American plane attack. Exploiting the chaos, Heinrich used the airstrike as cover to escape and sought refuge in Ermgard's house due to his severe injuries. Recognizing Heinrich's condition, Ermgard provided medical assistance and allowed him to stay, as the sight of Heinrich reminded her of her son who perished in the war in Italy. Shortly after, the priest arrived after burying Paul. Heinrich inquired about Elsa's whereabouts and the primary objective of von Starnfeld's troops. The priest revealed that Elsa had been arrested, and the Nazi squadron's purpose was to plunder gold from the Jewish Lowenstein family. Meanwhile, Robert clandestinely headed to the basement to meet two friends who were already aware of the gold's location. Despite knowing the gold's whereabouts, Robert chose to inform von Starnfeld to protect his child from harm. However, as he attempted to leave, he was unexpectedly struck by a shovel, sending him to the ground. The assailant turned out to be Sonia who then instructed a man present to finish off Robert with a shovel. Simultaneously, Elsa found herself in von Starnfeld's room, where she was invited to a romantic dinner by him. Von Starnfeld remarked that Elsa bore a striking resemblance to his former lover. In the past, he couldn't marry Elsa due to his lover being Jewish. Consequently, von Starnfeld tragically shot Elsa and preserved the ring he had given her in his long-ago gouged left eye. Kneeling before Elsa, he placed the ring on her finger. Simultaneously, the priest and Ermgard recounted the history of the Lowenstein family, the town's only Jewish family. In the wake of Hitler's brutal massacre of Jews, Robert similarly targeted the respected Lowenstein family, who had never harmed anyone. Amidst the turmoil, Sonia and others discovered a gold nugget, which she discreetly concealed in a tomb. Sonia had resolved to seize the gold nuggets later that night. Upon reaching the tomb, they intended to claim the gold but discovered a Bible in the casket. Surprisingly, it was revealed that the priest had taken the gold and concealed it in the church. Heinrich convinced the priest to relinquish the gold to von Starnfeld to save Elsa. Meanwhile, Elsa contemplated escape while von Starnfeld slept and noticed a ring on his finger. Intrigued, she inspected the ring and uncovered a hidden compartment containing an unknown pill. Unfortunately, von Starnfeld awoke as she extracted the pill. Thinking quickly, Elsa feigned seduction, requesting a kiss, and ingeniously used her mouth to place the pill in von Starnfeld's mouth, breaking it with a jaw hit. The pill turned out to be cyanide, leading to von Starnfeld's demise. Meanwhile, Sonia and her companions successfully located the priest and confronted him with a shovel. Simultaneously, Heinrich tossed a gold lump into the inn, provoking Durfler to emerge. Heinrich offered all the gold if Durfler agreed to release Elsa. Upon checking on Elsa, Heinrich was astonished to find von Starnfeld dead and Elsa missing from her room. Durfler capitalized on this situation to mobilize his troops. Attempting to outwit Heinrich, he used Robert's wife as a decoy Elsa to catch him off guard and launch an attack. The explosion sound reached Elsa, who had just arrived at Ermgard's house. Eager to aid Heinrich, Elsa lacked a weapon. 
It was then that Ermgard revealed her collection of rifles, often used for hunting. Meanwhile, Sonia persistently interrogated the priest, repeatedly punching him, yet he remained unyielding. Similarly, Durfler interrogated Heinrich, going to the extent of providing a blood transfusion to prevent Heinrich from perishing before disclosing the gold's location. The following morning, the priest accompanied Sonia to the church where the gold was stored. Sonia harbored intentions of killing the priest once she obtained the gold. Unbeknownst to them, the priest had set up a booby trap with a grenade, leading to the demise of Sonia's men after the gold was discovered. Shortly afterward, Dorfler and his squad entered the church, finding it in disarray. Notably, there were still gold nuggets present. Durfler then eliminated the priest to eliminate any potential opposition. Following this, Durfler instructed his troops to fetch a casket for the gold nuggets. However, outside the church, Elsa was armed with an RPG and fired at the building. Her shot caused the entrance to collapse, blocking Durfler's troops. Ermgard utilized this chaos to eliminate Durfler's forces. Witnessing the priest's lifeless body triggered Ermgard's fury, leading her to stab Durfler and nearly kill him. Unfortunately, as she was about to deliver the final blow, she was shot in the head. Elsa, enraged by this, retaliated blindly while Heinrich was in critical condition, managing to eliminate all of Durfler's troops. Despite being stabbed, Durfler rose and overpowered Elsa, choking her. Suddenly, Heinrich rallied, beating Durfler to death, stuffing a gold nugget into his mouth. Heinrich and Elsa then exited the church. Surprisingly, one of the Nazi troops survived, attempting to claim the gold. However, Sonia, presumed dead, shot him dead upon her unexpected revival. She seized the gold and fled the town but was short-lived as American soldiers, newly arrived, obliterated her with tank shells. In the film's conclusion, Heinrich invited Elsa to the city of Hagen to meet his daughter, elated at the prospect of reuniting with her. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.